After Donald Trump was elected president the other day, a lot of people were upset. They were scared. They were lashing out. They were trying to find somebody to blame. Hell, they even tried to blame me. You said all this and he won. It's your fault. Yeah, right, motherfucker. Anyway, I understood what they were doing and why they were doing it, so it didn't really bother me that much. I guess we always look for somebody to blame when something bad happens. Well, there is somebody to blame in this situation, getting Donald Trump elected president when it didn't seem likely. And you know who that is? It's a fucking Democrat. Fucking goddamn Democrats. Let me explain. In 2020, there were 155 million votes, 74 million for Donald Trump, 81 million for Joe Biden. 155 million people voted. I would have bet my life on the fact that there would be more people voting in this race in 2024, but that's not what happened. In this race, there's a missing 16 million votes. And when I say missing, I'm not talking about a conspiracy theory. But here's what happened. Donald Trump got 74 million votes in 2020. He dropped by 2 million votes. He only got 72 million votes this time around. So it wasn't like he all of a sudden got popular. He stayed the same, if not dropped a bit. But Kamala Harris got 67 million votes. 15, 16 million less than what happened in 2020. So the fact that she's missing those 16 million votes is because of the Democrats. For whatever reason, they chose not to vote for her. They might have voted down ballot and just left the presidential part open. Now, why wouldn't they vote for her? Well, some of the progressive will say, well, Joe Biden's a genocide, Joe, and it's a Gaza this and Gaza that. Yeah, nice move. Some other people just don't like black uh, people, and some other people don't like women, or some people don't like white, black, South Asian women. Yeah, this is a racist motherfucking country. But if you want to know why Donald Trump got elected, when that should not have happened, it didn't seem like it was going to happen, look to your neighbors that might have not voted for the presidency, just not voted at all. Donald Trump got what he expected. He didn't exceed it at all. He didn't gain any ground, which is surprising to me uh, that he didn't lose ground. But nonetheless, he didn't gain any ground from 2020. But Kamala Harris came up short, like 16 million votes. You want to blame somebody? Blame the motherfucking Democrats. Not all of them, of course, but the ones that have these hidden agendas, that they want to make a point, make a protest. Well, you made your protest, you fucked around and found out, and guess what? Now you're sticking us, yourselves, and everyone else with the horror of Donald Trump and all the MAGA fucks around him. I hope you're happy. But you know what? I don't like Trump, I don't like MAGA, and you Democrats who pulled this shit off, I don't like your fucking shit either. That's why I don't say I'm a Democrat or a Republican. I'm neither. Because I don't trust anybody unless they show me who they are. And you motherfuckers showed me who you are.